Okay, so I got a little bit of secret for you guys. You can't tell anybody, though. You, this is a super secret secret. Don't play any games. Down low. You know, it, information is for your eyes only. This is how you set up a YouTube video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is to set up our scene. We want it to look good, but we also need to have it be functional and actually make sense. Our, uh, my wife right there, she this is for her YouTube channel. I'll link it down in the description, but first thing we need to do is set up the scene so that it looks reasonable and like a real person would be in it and doing something instead of like, for lack of a better term, a, a, like a set on a stage. It needs to be, Kind of home-like, kind of chill. All right, so the next thing, like I said, was setting it up so that it's a vibe, make sure that everything looks good and you know, not like what I'm doing right now where I'm cutting my own chin off. Don't do that, that's dumb. Get you a chair that can get your head height to camera height. You don't want to be looking down at yourself or whoever you're filming or looking up at them that's gonna look weird. Just make sure that you can have the height of the face at the height of the camera. Step two for getting that nice chill background is remove all the clutter. Like just, just try to have as simple as possible, but still have interest, still have things that are gonna intrigue someone who's not particularly paying attention. Now that we have our space all set up and it's nice and chill, good vibes, we're gonna talk about lighting. So today I'm gonna use the small rig RC120B. And so far, it's one of my favorite lights. Hopefully soon I'll drop a review on it, but I am absolutely in love with this light. All right, so what we're doing next is we're gonna start setting up the lighting. Right now we have practical lights set up and that's about it. You see she has a bunch of like shadows on the top of her face and it looks kind of meh, looks kind of bad. So, like I said, we get the RC120B. We'll cut that on with no modifier and it's gonna look like garbage. So first things first is we want to change the light temperature until her skin tones and the white balance, everything looks nice and white, but not blue. We do not want things to look blue. Now that we have our light set to the right temperature and nothing looks yellow, we're gonna modify it. And to do that, we're gonna use an umbrella. Just a really cheap umbrella that you can get from Amazon. It's like 10 bucks. All right, so we got the umbrella set up and you can see the difference between just the harsh light off of the 120B versus some sort of softening modifier. It looks way better and just, she doesn't look ridiculous. She looks pretty good. I still think it's a little bit bright, so I'm gonna turn it down. So now that we have our light in place, we have it on a 45 degree angle and 45 off to the side of her. Now we're going to hit her with some fill light on that right side of frame, camera right. And for that, we're just gonna use this little GMV panel light. You don't need something super powerful for a fill light. You, you can get away with something like this. Now, as you can see, she has a nice little bit of fill on the other side. It's not flat, but it still looks good. I would prefer to have a little bit of a hair light on the back, but we don't got time for all that. We're trying to do this as simple as possible, quick and clean. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna lav her up. We're gonna use the Tascam DR 05X, which is one of my favorite field recorders and just a regular Rode lav mic, the cheapest one you can get from Rode. It's good enough. You don't gotta worry about nothing, I promise. Even though this is my wife, I'm gonna show you something that's important when you're working with a lady. If you're a dude, <laughs> let her put the lav mic, if it'll focus on the lav mic. Can't even see my face, come on. I guess you can't see my face, but whatever. If you got a lav mic, let the lady put it on herself. You can tell her where you want her to put it, but, but really you should just, just trust me on this one. It'll make your life easier. 
So let her lab herself up. Where do you want me to put it? Oh, I thought you knew what you've done this so many times. But, but you, just, you said you got a jacket. Put it on. Put on the jacket. <laughs> don't do what I just did. Don't 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 be touching people. Just let her put on the jacket. <laughs> okay. Then you want to make sure that you plug the dang thing into the line in, not the line out. I've made that mistake a million times. Don't make that mistake. Please don't. Turn the dang thing on. Oh, now nah, you. I guess because it's in the same whatever. Turn it on and do a test recording. Let her talk now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, let's see if that actually sounds like anything. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Awesome. So now that you know that it freaking works and it's not just gonna fuck off on you, <laughs> have her route the cable somewhere where you can't see it and put the actual field recorder in her pocket and then you can start recording. Also, most of them have a little hold switch. Use the hold switch so that their pocket can't turn off the recording because that would suck. Speaking from experience on that one, huh? Yeah. Okay, so now that you have all the lights, you got the camera, the tripod, you got your lav mic set up. You're pretty much good to go. Now you're ready to start actually recording the video and making that magic. And that's what we're about to do. I'm gonna show you probably a little bit of B-roll of what we're doing, but you're ready to go. Okay, so it's Milan from the future, and I just wanted to say I hope you liked the video. I hope that you don't get hit by a car like I'm probably going to where I'm chilling out at. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. And if you guys have any questions or comments or things that you want to learn or things that you hope that I know, just put down in the comments and ask me. Ask me what what I know, what you want. I'm here to help, I'm here to teach, and I'm here to learn with you guys. So that's all for this week, and I'm out of here. Peace.